Hello everybody, back here again for another vlog a day, and today is Saturday the 22nd, pretty sure it's 22nd, got this morning um, fairly early, dogs got to making a bunch of noise and racket and whatever, my assumption is um, mom got up and made noise, so the dogs heard noise, and it is on from there, so <coughs> went ahead, um, got up, got them out, I got them situated, uh, had the dog, can't be around other dogs, so on and so forth. Got them out, got them back in, um, got everybody kind of settled in for a little bit, um, got them all fed, hung around the morning, just kind of chilling out, not really getting too excited, but got everybody fed, medication, all that good fun stuff. Um, went ahead and jumped in the pool for a few minutes, not real long, but uh, mostly it's easier to clean the pool, it sounds dumb to like back or to um, net it out with the pool handheld skimmer thing from inside the pool, it seems like. So got in there and floated for a little bit, kind of just chilled out. Got a couple other things done, got out, hung out with the dogs. My wife got up, she got around for a few things. Um, we were just kind of chilling, not really doing a bunch of nothing. Uh, had a dog, uh, two dogs going home a day early, which they're supposed to get picked up tomorrow, but they got back early from their trip. So it all worked out and they basically came, got the dogs picked up. After the dogs got picked up, um, wife and mother went to the store. We got grocery shopping done. Not sure what else they did. They had a couple of run-ins to do. And then they got back from there and we were kind of just chilling out for a little bit and decided to run over to um, feed the cat. So I ran over to feed the cat and get there and the garage door was open, which is weird. There's a car in the driveway. There's not supposed to be anybody there. And I was like, what the hell? So I tried calling on the app to the owner and it's one of those deals where it'll ring 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 for a long time and then it'll go dead or if somebody ends the call like they just ignore the call it'll shut off after like a ring or two how many rings it has instead of ringing for a long time and this one got shut off which annoyed me because i'm sitting here in a situation where there might be somebody trying to rob the house or god knows what's going on and i really don't want to walk into this they're not supposed to be there nothing was told to me about somebody else being there and again why am i here feeding your cat if there's somebody else here just having feed the damn cat, pet it, whatever kind of thing. So, but yeah, went ahead, um, that annoyed me. Walked around and kind of beat on the door, kind of a hard aggressive, like beat on the door kind of thing. So, but, um, I, I, cause the door is like way around the side of the house. It's kind of a weird layout. You pull straight up in the driveway where the garage is and there's windows to go to a bedroom. And you gotta walk all around the whole side of the house to get to the door that actually goes in the house. It's a weird, crappy designed duplex. It's just strange. I don't know why it's set up that way, because why would you want your headlights shining right into your bedroom every time you when somebody comes home and stuff? It's just it's a really poor design. It's one of those houses that clearly had a builder build it that was not a designer and did not think through. But I was looking stuff, I heard somebody's voice. I'm like, what the fuck? So I walked back around and there's some dude coming out of the house and he's like, Oh, I wasn't sure if we were supposed to tell you, tell you, didn't tell you, da, da, da. And this whole thing. I'm like, well, yes, I need to know if there's gonna be somebody here. You know, this is bullshit. So I was your stuff and he was kind of like caught off and I think what was happening was when I started the stakes, I start the um, the cat drop-ins. I start them before I leave, so it's on Wi-Fi because I've had it not work over cell phone signal in the past. So I started before I go. So I think she had texted him and said, "Hey, hurry up and get out of there real quick." I don't know if he's supposed to be there. I have no idea. So that's a whole thing there. So I spoke to him. wasn't real, real pleased with the fact that there was somebody there. He left. I had to move my vehicle. That's in the motorcycle. So it wasn't the end of the world, but I had to move my bike out of the way so you get out of there which again is just more annoyance so i get there and the cat was just way off like the cat was not liking the cat's energy normally is super cuddly super friendly and this trip this cat didn't want much to do with me at all so i don't know because he had attention from this person or if that person was giving off bad vibes and again i don't know if this guy was just robbing the damn house i have no idea you know because i haven't heard back from her at all yet some in there and stuff and eventually i get a text from her saying that yeah he's supposed to be there and blah blah whatever kind of thing so I was annoyed, which I assume he's the one who left the door open or unlocked yesterday, which again is super annoying. And had I known there's gonna be somebody else there, I wouldn't have taken this damn job because it puts a liability on me that if something happens to this cat, she tries to come back on my service for saying something happened while I was watching this cat, then how do I know this when there's somebody else in the house? You know, it could have been them let the cat out, could have been, you know, them poisoned the cat, God knows what could have happened. So told her I said that's not cool. I was just like, oh, I'm so sorry, da 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 da, whatever. So went on with the whole thing I wasn't there I cut it short because I was just I was annoyed by that fact it really was so went ahead and cut it short and then headed back home and uh, basically on the way back I uh, saw the guy at the custom um, hot rod shop he was out front as I was going by I just waved at him didn't stop talking to him nothing but 
waved at him and he recognized me from the bike and whatnot so it's all good there but so he's all up in that um from there went ahead got back to the house um wife and i decided to take a nap and kind of like try to take a nap i guess i should say um one of the things i like i get really good sleep if i lay behind my wife while she watches some dumb chick flick and i sleep behind her on the couch it's one of the only reasons we bought a couch because we never sat in couches and i we literally were going to like furniture stores years ago and we looked at buying couches and we'd walk down kick my shoes off i'd lay down on the couch and she'd lay down in front of me and i'd be like nope not comfortable and get up and walk away i don't give what it looks like don't give it i just wasn't comfortable don't want it so we found one that worked well for us and ended up buying a three-piece set that all matched and stuff so everything matched which i don't really care about but we didn't do that much especially since mom's been here we just hardly don't do that at all because it feels kind of weird like one i'm not gonna like she's not gonna sit in my chair or whatever so i kind of forces her to back to the bedroom or she can go play show up or something but lose the house so that doesn't happen but we laid down and then ended up putting a movie that or netflix movie started finally my wife wanted something funny which was not the best choice for me because it was actually a good movie so i was like awake throughout it mostly and then we had a couple text messages come through and she had a call and different things and just kept kind of extending I, i'd almost get sleep and something wake me up and, and the dogs would bark at some bullshit because they heard noise and it was just it wasn't the peaceful rest that i'm used to getting that i know at least a couple points i dozed off for a bit but it wasn't that great loving rest that i love so much and normally when i'm behind my wife sleeping but got a little bit of sleep so from there got up um, got a couple of little things done around the house, but the dogs let everybody in. I had to kind of rotate the dogs in and out because the one dog does not get along with their dogs and so on and so forth. So that whole thing kind of breaks down. And then in the process, I went front run, got back front run, grabbed a shower. I actually went and jumped in the pool real quick first because I like to get front run, I like to go straight to the pool. Helps just cool my core off, especially as hot as it's been. It's been so stupid hot out here. And I went and got my core cooled off and then basically hung out there. Um, we had a little storm roll through, so temp dropped down nicely. Um, after we went back in after this, um, the pool, showered, had dinner, we had leftover, so it was all good. And then we had the storm roll in, and it cooled off, and I came out and told back in. After coming out, I realized how nice and cool it was. Went and told my wife, I'm like, hey, it's cooled off. If you want to get in the pool, this would be a good time for you, because it's nice and cool. It's not like a sauna out here. So she went out and got in the pool for a little bit. She slowed around for a little while and kind of just enjoying the pool. And kind of is what it is there so went ahead from there just kind of hanging out in the evening um, ended up having myself a nice cigar i didn't even start my first cigar until after dinner which is really odd for me because i spent a lot of time inside today because it was just one it was crazy hot and two i was just inside my wife taking a nap that kind of thing and i'm rarely ever in my house like i spent more time in the house today than i have probably in two months like i'm talking at least a month total time like it's ridiculous and probably since i moved in this house I spent more time in this house outside of working on it than I have been in this house. It's just, I was in all day. I wasn't outside that much today, which was kind of weird for me. It felt strange, but it's what it is. So I went ahead and from there, um, ended up having myself a nice little cigar, chilling out in the evening, uh, running a 3D printer. So I got it running again finally. And then basically just hanging out, um, headed inside. And just wasn't feeling tired. I don't know, maybe the nap got me a little bit. But we got to chatting a little bit in the bedroom, watching an episode of The Rookie. And then I ate some Doritos. And then I started playing. Every once in a while I play music on YouTube. I was finding random songs that I used to listen to as a kid. And then as a young adult sometimes even too. And then kind of see if my wife knows them. Because we're, there's like eight years, eight and a half years between us. So it's one of those things where our music is not the same. Plus I grew up as a drunk father hanging out in like, country hillbilly bars and she didn't so it's a different genre in the jukeboxes than what she would have had in her father's record store totally different genre of music so and rarely do i ever listen to a whole song I listen to enough to see if she gets it and usually maybe another minute of it then I move on to the next song so however long it takes me to find the next song to play that's how long i listen to a song then once she realizes what it is we get the beat of it and we jump over we listen to another song so it was kind of a fun night next thing i know it's 2 30 in the morning which is not like us at all um really crazy we were there for a few hours like it was early when i came in so we were just listening to music and stuff and just chatting and kind of laughing and joking and talking about what songs mean to you and different things and different little concepts and stuff and it was a good time we don't do that nearly as much as we should um I just I don't like being inside and she doesn't come outside it's too damn hot for her to be outside so it's one of those things that just we don't have as much time of that together as we should have but 
worked out nice. It was nice. Lost some sleep out of it, but overall it's real nice. The dogs, for the most part, did a pretty good job and didn't really bug me too much in the evening. After we laid down at night, they kind of stayed quiet, which was nice. So, but yeah, that's all I got for right now. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe and wonderful day. Thanks for watching.